Hi, and welcome to today's piano tutorial. Today we'll be taking a look at the song In Christ Alone, featuring Christian Stanfield. This is off of the Passion album, Let the Future Begin. It's in the recording key of F, and it's in 3-4 timing. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pursue God Worship. Also check out our website at pursuegod.org slash worship for the latest tutorials and uh, resources on our website. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the beginning of the song, um, we're learning this intro, and it's in the key of F, so I'm starting on F here, and I'm playing the octave in the left hand, it sounds like this. So we're playing the F and the A a couple times there. That's all the right hand is doing there. That's the intro that repeats several times in the song. Um, and that left hand is just walking up on those octaves there, on that um, F, on that um, B flat there, and then that D. So that's the idea there. Um, later in the song, you can jump it up an octave if you want to, just to add some dynamic and some lift to the song, you know? Um, and then other than that in the song, we have um, just some basic patterns. I'm playing um, an F inversion there with the C, F, and A. So I'm kind of walking up. So that's what you could do there. Um, those are some ideas for that lead in. And then you're back to the intro. On that um, bridge interlude of the song, um, basically what we're playing is it's going to go back and forth between the F and then it's going to go up to that B flat and then we're going to go to that D minor, B flat, F, B flat. going to start walking it up, and this is uh, probably the more challenging of the parts, so what you could do is you could walk it up with interlude, or uh, inversion, sorry, on the right hand, walking that up with those progressions and you'll notice that the pattern in the right hand is the same until you get to that chord so it's just the same amount of distance between all the notes and then so that's because they're inversions and inversions once again are taking like the top note and just putting it on the bottom basically and there's two forms of inversion that we can do so we're just doing one of those here and so that's what I'm doing there um, and then once you get to the end of the song you can go to that high octave They don't do that in the recording, but it's just kind of a nice touch there. So 
Anyway, those are some basic ideas for you to uh, learn this song, and I hope that it was helpful for you. Um, I had fun being here with you today. Looking forward to seeing you again soon.